Hello students, Miss Baroda here. I'm super happy to be here with you today and even more excited to teach you this new way that we can identify the most important information in expository text. Now we've been learning a lot about expository text over the past month and different ways that we can find the most important information in the text. And authors use different ways to um, show us that information. So today we are going to read a book about the butterfly life cycle. And then we're gonna use a graphic organizer that I have here to show the sequence and order of a butterfly's life cycle. So many of you may be asking, what's a sequence, Miss B? So a sequence is a form of writing that is used by the author to inform readers about certain topics. So they're presenting information to us and they use sequence or order to show that important information. Um, some key words that uh, authors used could be like first, second, third, fourth, um, like I have here on our graphic organizer, or another way can be first, next, then, last, final. So they use those key words so that we're like, wait a minute, they're about to tell us something very important here and I need to jot this down. So while reading the book, we will stop when we see the author using one of those keywords and um, then put it on our graphic organizer. So here we go, let's get started. We have the butterfly life cycle. Now in this book, there's a lot of different information, but I just want us to focus on the sequence. First, a butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. Hmm, I noticed one of those key words and it's first. So again, it says first, a butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. So what I wanna do here is put that on my graphic organizer. So now in the number one spot, the first spot, I have a little egg on a leaf. It's right here, it's really small, but it's an egg that the butterfly laid. Next, the egg hatches into a caterpillar, a type of larva. So there's another keyword, next. So what I'm gonna do Let's put that in my number two spot. So in the text, the author first told us that a butterfly lays eggs on a leaf, and then next or second, the egg hatches, and then you see caterpillars. Then the caterpillar wraps himself into a cocoon called a chrysalis. So many of you may know the word cocoon. And that term is used quite often, but it's also referred to as a chrysalis. That's the scientific term. So now we have step one where the butterfly lays an egg on the leaf. Step two, the egg hatches, and then you have baby caterpillars or larva. And then the caterpillar wraps himself in a cocoon. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar undergoes metamorphosis. Metamorphosis means that the caterpillar is going through change. Finally, the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis. So finally is another key word here. So we're gonna add that to our graphic organizer. 
into the fourth spot. So we can see here that there's four stages of the butterfly's life cycle. And the author used key words to inform us, the reader, about the first step, the second step, the third step, and then the fourth step and final step. So we can go over this again. And we see here that they have the egg. So I'm gonna label that. Now, if I didn't have this graphic organizer and already printed um, tabs here, I would just write it in, or a lot of times they let you draw your own picture. Next, for a second, the egg hatches and turns into a caterpillar. Then the caterpillar wraps himself in a cocoon called a chrysalis. The final stage in the butterfly life cycle is it becomes a butterfly. It emerges from the chrysalis and becomes a, a butterfly. Graphic organizers like this um, allow us to put down the information so that us, the readers, can remember. Now that I've uh, shown you this step, we are gonna use the same strategy and work on this together.